It's gonna be a... That's gonna be a mess. Don't oh a my god! So death can claim its prize. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tia the Awakening. Now, I did say that I wanted to play something else instead of Age of Empires for a while because I was exhausted of the game. Tia the Awakening is a perfect game to play because I can play a whole campaign uh, in within like a month. I can complete it and then I can like move on to Age of Empires again. Uh, I am not the greatest at the game, I would say. I'm like halfway decent. I'm not the best at the game, but I am halfway decent at the game. I'll say that. There are a few things I do know about the game, a few things I don't. So, if you guys will help me out, you guys can help me out. Uh, as for what I what get to, I think so I have everything set here. Okay, so it's a new game. Yes. Uh, now, uh, I don't have any of the gods unlocked because I reset the profile. So I could unlock every god and that way I can take breaks in Age of Empires and Tear the Awakening. We can play a good chunk of games and stuff. So the two gods I have unlocked is Zoria and Mokosh that you get to the early stages. Uh, Zoria is basically great for research purposes stellar education your people are driven to succeed and impress the goddess they gain experience faster okay so they are experience gainers that's what they are makosha on the other hand green fingers your villages are faster in gathering i'm gonna play makosh because i want to gather uh, faster my village focus will also be gatherers because my early game will basically uh, be gathering customized difficulty we will have uh wall size will be normal because i always go for normal uh, world progression. I think the snail is fine. Uh, yeah, snail is fine for me. Economy and easy because I'm not a big economy guy, so I'll just keep it easy. Challenge difficulty can be up to deity because honestly, I'm just gonna auto resolve all the challenges. That is the best result, by the way. Uh, playing it is, does not give you the best result. Auto resolve basically what it does is just makes you win most of the battles, even battles that are like tough to win. Auto resolve can make sure that you have minimal losses, so that's the reason why we play. I play at least uh, auto resolve. I don't play the battles myself. Enemy aggressiveness normal. Starting villagers ten. That's uh, what I'm gonna do. Reshuffle pain because I'm never gonna go into a battle properly. So what's the point of it? So I'll just have that. Uh, says will have uh, save off because obviously um, I like playing in. Uh, Iron Man mode and auto self auto save is there anyways. Uh realism, easy. Yeah, only one type uh, uh one building of each type. Gathering is reduced to one pack per turn from source. I can send it to normal, which does why does it not say anything? I don't know why it doesn't say anything. But I'm not gonna do it normal, I'm just gonna go easy. Uh then we have the group limit, which is 12, and we have Blood bot, which I just don't want blood bot because that just means my characters are ha they, they are for sure gonna be dead and I don't want that. So that's my settings to play in this game. And uh, we'll go Mokosh, like I said, I do like the gatherers that she gives. Uh Zoria and Mokosh are right now available. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, eventually we'll play other gods as well. But for now we just have two of them available, so we'll play. Alright, let's start. Mother Earth Lightboard, Nature and Domain. You guys can read that because I can't. The amount of speed that I have. This odd. Thea is awakened. Welcome. No time to waste. You are a deity of the High Pantheon, and you must help your worshippers survive the darkness. So what now, you ask? You are divine, yes, but you have little power, and so you will know the world through your people's eyes. This means sometimes you will encounter your own divine messengers, and maybe even face your own avatars. Weird, I know. Your first mission is to survive. Every critter is trying to make sure you stay down. So get food and craft better equipment to protect yourselves. You will guide your people to victory, either by sheer survival and progress, or by solving the Cosmic Tree's mystery. Just a moment, boys. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Now, I would not do the tutorial, but tutorial gives you free stuff, so I'm just gonna go for it. What's this? 
who's talking to me and what did you mean? Looking through people's eyes? I am but a messenger. Theodore, you can call me. But let us focus on you. Thea is a broken land. The underworld is shut and the undead roam the earth. And creatures of darkness that ruled for a century want you dead. Okay, so I need to improve our village and people. So how do I get started? First, go and explore your village. Check the inventory to see your stocks and set people to gather food and fuel, like wood. Without food, people will starve. And without fuel, they will not craft or even heal. So these are really important. Okay, gather food and fuel at the village? Anything else? Yes. Once you've visited your village, check out the people standing outside. The exploring party. Select your party and send them to me. I will wait for your people outside the village. I have marked your people's map with a big blue question mark so they will see where I am. Oh, and if you ever forget what your current task is, just check out your logbook. Alright, so check out my village and people first, then send them your way. Let's begin. Enter the minds and bodies of your worshippers and begin the adventure. Right, they don't give free resources, it gives free XP. So, we know the basics of the game and everything. So this is my expedition party, apparently. Uh, I do want to check what's inside my expedition party. First of all, let me just send my expedition party back, because... Uh, honestly, I don't need an expedition party right now, but we'll get Theodore's tutorial done. Theodore welcomes you. Well, hello there. I see you're finding your feet and making first steps into the world. Well done. Okay, so what now? Events such as meeting me will occur throughout your adventures. Sometimes they are random, sometimes predestined, and always varied. Events can occur when you're out exploring, but also globally, or within your village. So remember, leaving your settlement unattended may be dangerous. Right, events can occur at any time, both within the village and out in the world. Anything else? Many events will ask you to bring stuff or do things in order to move to the next stage. I asked you before to gather food and fuel in your village. So, you can gather resources in your village, but also by setting up a camp when you're out exploring. To set up camp, stand on an empty hex and choose the tent icon from the mini hut. Right, we can gather by setting up camps in the world. Got it. Good. Now events can lead to conversations or just random disasters, but they can also lead to challenges. To show you what I mean, track down a pack of boars nearby, marked by a blue question mark, and bring me back their bones. Alright, pop into the direction of those boars. First thing is first, uh, I'm just gonna go, with, actually no, wait, uh, what were they doing? Right, production, I already know that, so we, oh, that's actually better, we got nuts, usually we just have vegetables outside our thing, because all the time, I don't know usually, but most of the times that I've started, it has always been vegetables, so seeing nuts is kind of crazy, but we would have liked a vegetable outside, not gonna lie. Would have been helping. Alright, whatever. Uh, we can't really do much there. Let's send it to her. Oh, wait, we can get this, right? So, this is research. This is where you get your stuff. You can get everything from over here that you want. It seems we have already got straw. I would like to have spider silk. Spider silk gives us silk to it, which is really good. Just saying. Will enter. You find the boars Theodore told you about. There is only a couple, so it should not be too hard. However, instead of a straight fight, you can try to do a proper hunt. If you have the right skills, that is. Or better yet, you can go all native on these beasties and wrestle them to the ground. Not an easy option, that one. Alright, so hunting is our option. We do have the hunting option. Great. You have the right skill, in this case gathering, to enter into an alternate challenge. In non-fight challenges, the wounds you get during the challenge do not carry over after it finishes, meaning you have less of a risk of dying. Alright. Okay, great. Go for the hunt. Uh, we're just gonna auto-resolve. There's no point in fighting, honestly. It's a better result. You stalked the boars like a pro and caught them unaware. Your loot may not be as plentiful as a straight fight, but you did not risk getting wounds, so your people will not have the danger of dying now. Alright. Take it and leave it. 
kind of take it out big and strange looking black rooster was seen perusing your village barn. You suspect this may be a cropsy, a domesticated field demon who can bring great fortune to its host. But beware, if it deems you to be a bad farmer, it may instead damage your crops or play nasty tricks. Ah, there's a chance of the demon joining us. I'll just leave an opening in your barn uh, for a cropsy to come in and out easily. The cropsy seems happy with Okay, your that's fine. That is great. Bring in more crops from the fields and your gardens give more fruit. Great. Honestly, that is such a great thing to do. All right, uh, we can go in here and talk to Theodore again. Theodore welcomes you. Okay, we got the bones. Well, no worries. Come All right. Wait, didn't, didn't we get the bones? What? Theodore welcomes. You. Wait, what? Do we... we have the bones, don't we? Oh, it's the village. Oh, I have to go back. God damn it. Eh. Eh. So hard to select the group. Just gonna do this. Move it here. Uh, where are the bones? These are the bones. Shut up. Here we go. Get the bones. Go back here. And we'll end the turn again. A group of travelers passes by your village. You exchange basic supplies and talk. Because of your kindness, they tell you of a herbalist living in a solitary hut out in the wilderness. They say she can cure any poison and even heal wounds, for a price, of course. They give you a map to the herbalist's hut and depart on their journey. Okay, so that's that's good because if ever our guys get poisoned or stuff, we can. Oh, that's very close by as well. So that's actually pretty good, honestly. Um, Theodore. Here we go. Nice. Well done. And keep your resources. They may come in handy on a rainy day, you know. As you saw, you got both experience points and research points, on top of any material rewards. All of these will help you grow stronger. Okay, we get experience and research by doing such tasks, and we get rewards, so what now? So, you've discovered that some events will let you solve a situation through more than combat. These non-combat challenges are often just as hard, but it means that fighting is not the only way. Remember, Wounds from combat challenges can kill your people even after the fight. So choosing a different path is often safer. And having a medic in your party will help decrease the chances of dying as well. Anyway, great job on the boars. Okay, so medic, I am not going to go for medic early on. Practice so... makes perfect, you know. So now that the boars are done for, let's practice one more challenge type. Social encounters. I spotted a fellow demon called Hurlick, and I want you to convince him to give you some gold. When you have it, bring it back here. Okay, uh, like I was saying, uh, Medic, uh, I might not get early on, it might be mid to late game. Because honestly, early game mostly will be me just gathering stuff, and I need gatherers for that. I'll just have a bunch of gatherers. So let's talk to the demon here. Uh, can we make it? We got to make it a weird look. And we'll s Oh, frick, I didn't mean to do that. But that, that, is, uh, that does do one good thing for us. Uh, let's set a party real quick. And we'll see about that. Uh, we'll take a hunter with us. They're always good to have. A gatherer, obviously. Another gatherer, obviously. What is that again? That is a scholar. A craftsman, okay. That is good to know. Oh, uh, we'll take a warrior as well because warriors are important. I think this seems to be a good squad for us. We can keep the rest over here, which will definitely help us out. Uh we are lacking in food, so we'll build bring in some food. Some nuts would be good to have. Yeah, I think so. That nuts will be good to have, right? Because nuts will be available to us soon anyway. So we'll take some nuts and we'll take some wood as well. So we'll take 10 wood. That should be fine. Alright. Let's move there. Food will be ending soon. Uh, how are things in food situation over here? We don't see many food over here, which is 
kind of scary, not gonna lie. Uh, do we see any silk tunic? There's one location that we see. Where? Where is the silk tunic? That is the elven wood. Where the hell is the silk tunic? We have an elven wood right next to our city. It's kind of crazy. That's elven wood, right? Which... Yeah, that's pretty good to have next by the city. Where is... Oh my god, that's far, far away. Not gonna lie. Jesus. Oof. That is really far away. You find the Hurlick Theodore spoke of. He sits on a rock and stares at you with his large yellow eyes. What do you want? You looking for trouble? Because I could get you some. He clenches his tiny fists at you. That's a weird voice for you to have. Uh, no trouble, little fella. Just want to talk. Little? Who are you calling little, you overgrown pile of softy fish bags, you? <laughs> a creature huffs and puffs at you, shaking its fists violently. Uh, hey there, village elder. You're going to don't you see that I am a woman? Ah, oh, but a compliment, you say? Well, I suppose being little is way better than being big. <laughs> so you're kind of clever to call each other little, even though you're clearly vertically challenged. What? So, what's your business here? Well, we were told you yeah, we have some goal and we really need a fellow well, tailor said you may be able to help us out. I mean, on a result again. Yeah, you're bad at this talking business. Perhaps Ouch. you need less brawn and more brains in your team, eh? Never mind. I assume Theodore sent you here to get his gold. So, here it is. Tell him to come himself next time. Okay, at least he gave us one gold. That is good to know. Hey, Theodore, I got your gold, alright. Your have it. Theodore? Oh, good. You got the gold. That wretched woman owes me, but I have no desire to speak to her. Anyway, it's a matter of principles rather than the gold itself, so just keep it. You may need it to craft better stuff, you know. We can get dwarves from it. In social challenges, as you saw, you will face your opponent, but different skill sets become relevant, such as speech, attractiveness, and will. So just remember, different challenges use different skills. And so your party composition can have a great impact on the way you explore the world. As you perhaps noticed, you got research points as well as XP. You need research points to discover new materials and recipes for crafting and new buildings for your village. Got it. Now, you will notice that some equipment as well as buildings in your village require a lot of stuff. Often things that are not easily gathered or commonly found. For such needs, I also recommend scouring the world map in search of old ruins, abandoned tunnels, ancient towers. You get the gist, right? It so happens that I know of an old dungeon that you can explore and loot. I have marked this place on your map. Thanks. So rare materials are also found in the world through both events and places of interest. Is there anything else I can bring? Well, yes. I have a second task for you to do at any time you're ready. Craft me ten cooked baked or roasted food, any type. You may want to research some varieties as well to match your supplies. Also, leave these 10 crafted foods in the village until I show up. You don't have to rush with this one. Take your time and get to grips with managing your settlement. Remember okay. to check the magical help button to read more. Yeah, I know more about any mechanics. All right, one moment, boys, again. Just want to check something. Okay. I totally forgot about one thing that I ended up. I'll be right back. Item back. In the dead log. I had something to do. Alright, explore the dungeon and craft 10 cooked, baked, or roasted food. Uh, food till then. Got it. That's Theodore's tutorial. That's not far away. Uh, right. We need to get our guys back in here because we are out of food. Okay, we can't. While we are at it, production. Oh, it's in village overview, right? I know. Uh, let's craft some cooked meal. We have the beef. Uh, and what else can we put in here? Some wood. What do we get? Meat stew? Sure. Uh, no. We'll just get. We have so much of meat. It's just going to waste. So it's just better to use that. There you go. 
uh, will have you and the steel. Okay, you are not so bad guy. You and the duty along with you. Uh, that should uh, be all good for us. Is that the turn? So, oh, we'll just uh, get up and up. Good. Dexterity. Maybe something that would be nice would be to have you guys like get gathering skills, maybe. You know? Uh, okay, I need some food. Can I get some food? Or well, we can set the gold mine over here. And then we can get some food, maybe, from somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take uh, the these things. Like, sure. It's fine. Uh, we'll get some nuts as well. Not a lot. Ten should be fine. Seven turns. Alright. Let's go ahead and do the tutorials. This is a great spot to start for, not gonna lie. A great spot would have been somewhere like... Hmm, just an event over here. Oh wait, another turn. It's not an oh. easy place to grow up here. Gather. But alas, grow up we must becoming an adult, isn't it? So that's just basically that event will reoccur. That's basically your kids growing up. We have kids in our settlement. As you can see, they're in our inventory. <laughs> but yeah, they're kids. The three more kids will grow up. And that'll you be good for us. Some ruin. You search the ruins and find an interesting building to explore, but it seems half submerged in water. As you enter, a creature comes out from the waters to attack you. Alright. We'll just have you the buildings and Really? The Somebody got injured. Attacked. Wow. I did not expect that. Not gonna lie. We will rest up for a bit. Let's gather our shit till then. Let's gather stuff. Okay, they're no longer wounded. That's good to know. We can make camp and start moving towards this place. You okay. enter an underground complex that turns out to be some old, long-forgotten dungeon. You're not sure what used to be the purpose of these dungeons, but they seem large. Let's explore. Inside, there are two main tunnels leading deeper into the complex. I go right. You take the right turn and go down a wide corridor with many doors on both sides. You try one of the chambers and you see an imposing tombstone with two granite gargoyles on each side and some old candles spread at its feet. The candles suddenly light up. A bloodthirsty streak arises from its tomb and attacks you. Perhaps another time. You All right, inside, let's go left and see. You take a left and go down a long, winding corridor, with empty alcoves spread about in equal spaces, each alcove hiding a potential doorway to explore. You enter one such opening, and you arrive at a small, empty chamber. You are about to leave when a ghost stands in your way. I am Zaraza. Please don't go yet. My spirit has been trapped here for decades. I cannot leave here, you see, because everywhere I go, I bring disease and death with me. But I do not want to do this. This is a death? Oh no. No, no, wait. In this chamber, and only here, I do not spread the filthy plague unless I touch someone. This is why I haven't left in decades. Please help me. So, there's a chance this guy will join us, right? Uh, we'll help All you. All you have to do is to willingly let me touch you. I know this is asking much, but if you win oh. with the disease, and I think you will, I will reward you, I swear. Once you have healed, I will no longer bear my curse of Zaraza. I was a dola once, a friend of demon helping people. If you help, I will bless your entire party. You will be healthier for a time, but if you fail, one of you may fall ill. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, baby. The sickness was too strong. Frick. One of your people falls ill as a result. The Zaraza cries and disappears, whispering only, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to. Great. At least we got some XP. You enter. You come back to the ruins, but realize either an earthquake or someone powerful. All right, let's go back. That's the best I can do. All right. What's happening here? 
Oh, there's a guy who's free. Can you help with the bun? Senator flies to your village with a note attached. It reads, Dear residents of the lovely settlement, if you will, please visit my humble abode placed not so far from your lovely home. It is very nice. I am a blacksmith of dwarven tradition and I have an offering for you kind people. Yes, there is a small map drawn in strange purple glowing ink. Not the first for me. I've never had that even happen to me. Smitty. Oh wow, that's really close. We want to check that out. It's on the way to our silk, uh, silk place, so I'm definitely going to check it out. Who's not doing anything? You are not doing anything. Oh, by the way, or why not? Better than nothing. We can construct a pasture, but honestly, what do we put in the pasture? Some gold? Uh, sandstone? And we don't have enough wheat, we don't have enough of that. We have nuts. We can use sandstone? Oh. Wood. One attract human. That's not gonna be enough, honestly. If we use wood, we don't have enough wood for that. We need a few things to really shine over there, honestly. Alright, let's end turn. Alright. Let's move back. Uh, we will. Uh, like get the supplies as well where is the jerky oh no they had all the jerkies god damn it uh we have to wait a bit we'll, we'll wait with our expedition they can do something like is there anything good around here they can gather we don't have enough you know what? You go and meet this smitty till then. Let's go and meet this smitty. Hidden away in a quiet alcove, you discover a single house amongst ruins of some old town. There is smoke coming from the chimney and the sound of hammering inside. This is clearly a smithy. You notice an unusually large pile of rocks sitting by the house. So let's approach the house. As you approach, the hammering stops and a dwarf walks out to greet you. That's far enough, strangers. You do not want to anger Chael. She gets very jumpy, that one. The pile of rocks opens its eyes and stares at you. It's definitely a rock troll. Hi. <laughs> we've been passing by. We got an invite. Our village is not far from here, but we've never seen you. Hey, your village. Hi. Well, truth be told, I move around me. and I don't like trust any stranger coming to see me. Unless I want you to, you will not find your way here. Hence, the invite. And this brings me to why you did find me. I have a wee problem. And if you help, I will give you a full set of armor with some good weapons and all. Ooh. You see, I've got me a kind of, well, a female problem. Whatever your problem, we are solid. Ah, well, it's kind of embarrassing. You know, us fallen dwarves, that is, the ones who stayed behind when the darkness came. We tend to be solitary types, at least when it comes to females. After all, no dwarven woman chose this sad fate, at least not one I know of. In any case, the story cut short. There is a cute demon girl, the nice type, mind you, living nearby, and, well, I tried impressing her with my smithing, but she doesn't like weapons. I tried sweet-talking, but turns out it ain't my best feature. So if you go and convince her to go out with me, I will give you the price. Oh, ho, ho. Point me the direction. It's a serious matter, mind you. She can get a bit nasty if you're not careful, and I've been trying for decades now. Anyway, I don't know how much you do know of them water demons, but just try not to dance with her. And probably avoid going for a swim, and, well, just be careful. She's a sneaky one. Okay, you see her. You are serious. Let's do this. Excellent. Here's a map of the local area. I marked roughly the spots where she hangs out, but I think she may be on the move with her sisters, so just, yeah, watch out. Uh, whatever. Fine. Off I go to convince a demon to date an old dwarf. Oh boy, that's that. That's gonna work out for sure, right? Uh, let's move here because there is something over here. You stumble across. You search the abandoned. Okay, same thing. You search the building. Somebody got discovered. injured. Right? Can I? Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll get her some stuff. Can't get her anything, you know. We'll just move on. Uh, we'll just move on to this. Let's see what we can. Interesting. 
Uh, we'll take a few more turns. Whoa. People are getting injured. Is not an easy nice. place to grow up in, but alas, uh, another gatherer. Becoming an adult is an important. We'll have one more warrior and then a gatherer. Three gatherers. One. Camp in the area. Oh. Some of your food stocks and supplies have gone missing. No way, camp. dude. You can't take all that shit from me. We're gonna hunt them. Set out to track the bandits, but it seems they're hiding their safe house. Well, luckily you have some skilled scouts to help out. Yeah, we have a hunt. We got that. You discover tracks leading into an old mine shaft. Long exploited and unused, thus a perfect site for a hideout. You're Good. There's an oh, that's a smitty uh, thing. Good to know. You stumble across. You open. There's always the same the thing. Buildings and discover a supply store still in. Good. Oh shit! People are. We are not looking good. Okay, let's gather stuff. Oh boy. Hopefully. Okay, good. Nobody died. Good. Let's move here. Who's not doing anything here? You aren't doing anything. Let's... Yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. Actually, there is a thing. Wait. Village? Why can't I have a village over there? Oh, because I have expedition over there? God damn it, that's not what I mean to do. Wait, I'll just give this then. Let's end the turn. Let's move you there before that. Yeah, this is what I did not pay attention to. And that is this. Wait, wait, wait. I was thinking why there's Audi. Okay. Uh, I'll make. 26 jerkies? No. I'll make like 5. That should be more than enough. Who else is uh, not busy? You are. Help her. Alright. We've been in a dungeon. Stuff. Perhaps you noticed how the dungeon had many routes to explore, and some may still be obscured for you if you lack certain skills. Magic users, and those who know folklore for example, often find themselves finding more information or alternative options. But the same goes for all the skills really, so make sure to send diverse teams out into the world, as you never quite know what you might need. I feel you are now ready to take on Thea without me. So long dear friends, and may you bring prosperity to Thea. Oh, one last thing. Soon you will begin finding clues to pursue the mystery of the cosmic tree. So watch out for those. Thank you for your help. Alright. So those are all the missions for him done. Now I can probably go and do my own thing. Uh, before that though, why don't you worry about it again? Let's end the turn. Yes, wonderful. You made your first batch of prepared okay, there food. We go. No longer are you a mere scavenger. Now you can cook. Crafted foods are more efficient than the raw stuff, so you may want to take them when you're out exploring, as they are lighter to carry. So now I have a harder task for you. Build me a building in your village. Any building will do. Good luck! Okay, so he wants me to build a building. Obviously I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's move you in. Alright, let's see. You have a good chunk of food, that's good to know. Uh, round shield equipment. If you look at our guy, can any of you guys equip shields? The original spear, that's fine. Can you equip a shield? You can equip a shield, but... Can you equip a shield? You can, good. Oh wait, those are our... No, 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 I wanna go for the expedition team. There you go. Any of you guys can equip a shield? You, you have a shield. Mine's okay. This shield is definitely better. What you? Can you equip this? You can. Good. Good, 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 good. We're working well. What about the sword? You have a better shielding and poisons as well. Yeah, that poison definitely is worth keeping then. 
because that that's gonna be so useful uh anyways uh yeah that looks fine what is that is that cool i don't want that burning or that in fact uh inventory let's start and put the dark wood in there let's put this as well sandstone as well there is no need for me to have sandstone or clay leather scale leather meat we keeping uh actually don't we have jerkies that's lightweight food right we can push this here uh we don't need the coal honestly we can keep that seaweed we keep seaweed we can send that sword there we go anything else that i can really get going with this uh the jerkies definitely will help out they're lightweight and they also give good chunk of shot which is good for us obviously we have nuts right now so can we like produce nuts right now crafting can we go and produce nuts stuff with nuts no we can't we need specific food for that so our issue is food we do have fish nearby so that's something we can catch i'm thinking we gather fish because that will definitely help us out it's great to have nuts but like lightweight food will be better but it's very nutritious okay first thing is first though there is also quilt over again what should i construct here should i get a pasture already that's my question it won't be a great pasture honestly if i get it already two it's just one attract human which is not great i think i want something better it's great to it's great because it'll add food produces food each turn which is great obviously but like honestly if i can get the best ingredient would be like secondary material would be vegetables and uh, i'm thinking the best equipment here would be getting better wood right all right i'm i'm, I'm done thinking first thing is first oh did we get uh, did the turkey with us we are food for 13 first that's good to know so where's the silk tunic oh all the way down there oh that's gonna be a journey for sure let me just rename it we're gonna need this we're gonna silk tunic so silk tunic it makes silk tunic obviously so that's why we're going for the spider silk but we are also gonna unlock wickers which will be great i should be able to deal with this yeah that should have no problem dealing with that we still have a journey to do oh boy that's a spider's nest can we take it down with our guys hunting yeah that was that is so useful because spider's nest gives us uh, uh, spider silk as well so it's so useful to have that uh it's very close by definitely don't want to find that Ooh. oh boy we won wow see auto resolve is that's why it's just great to have auto resolve it's so freaking good that's a goblin village i'm not taking any risks there there is a silk tunic over there though uh let me just break a camp over here and start gathering uh can we go like on rivers we can't right it would be great to be over here i think yeah, I'll wait turn and get over here. That will be better. There we go. Now we can break a camp and start gathering fishes as well. Fishes are great to have. A uh, spider tunic. Jesus, that's a lot of turns. But whatever. Whatever suits us. All right, we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, wickers now, that will be great to have as well. Where are wickers? Wickers are close by. That is good to know. 
Okay, that's good to know. It's close by. Okay, we can work on this. Vickers are close by, we can get Vickers. As you make your way through the terrain, your herbalist spots an area where you can harvest some good herbs. They grow inside a hollow tree, but beware, there seems to be a lot of spider webs surrounding the place. These webs look thicker than I like. We best be quick about our business here, exclaims one of your men. I might, I will take it. Your herbalist nice. carefully picks the right herbs, while the rest of the men keep a wary eye out for trouble. You already picked some of the herbs, but you notice that there is a larger patch further down the path. However, that area has a sticky white blanket of webs thrown all over it. All right, you can attack it by the surprise. Oh shit, that's a two-star. Oh, the frick. area is thick with spider webs, and there is a stink of decomposing meat in the air. It is hard to make out exactly how many giant spiders huddle in the nest, but the party is faced with a pit full of hairy, round spider bodies, an array of long twisted legs, and tens of red eyes glowing right at them. Leaving the beasts no time to rally, the team strikes. Here we go. After a tough fight, oh. you finally clear the area of those spiders. Within their lair, <laughs> you discover some more herbs as well as bodies of fallen men and women who are clearly not as lucky as you. You search the area for any usable loot. Jesus! That is so... We also got monster bones, which is great. But this is just... Un we also got dragon leather, which is another great thing. Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. I thought we would have some injured guys, but we went... Uh, even if we won, I was expecting some injured guys, because we are not that high leveled. But this is why I auto resolve, man. It's the best freaking shit ever. Like, literally, dude. I did not expect that. Who's not busy? Uh, you done crafting? Oh, you done crafting. Okay. I just continue cooking meal. I think that's just better. For now, at least. We'll have fishes later. Uh, let's have you and, like, you. Oh, uh, how are things looking? Things that I can get. Uh, we can continue on. Alright. Oh, wait. I forgot to keep this unlimited times. Frick. My bad, my bad. The herbs are getting uh, are of no use right now, so just. Actually, no, 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 no. Keep the herbs, keep the herbs, keep the herbs, keep the herbs. I just remember there is an event that need herbs. In fact, uh, wait. We just do this. Unlimited times, inventory, mana supplies. Don't let them use the herbs. No, 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 not a new expedition. We don't want them to use herbs. That's good, right? They do have the herbs in the inventory. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna have them use herbs at all. There's a good reason for that. Uh, 20 fish, good. Good, 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 good. Wait, did... Did I just show fish twice? Okay. Good, good. We're getting nuts, we're getting fishes, that's good. More nuts. Okay. This is, this is just gonna be us going for a few turns. Uh, I think once we have a decent amount of spider... Silk, we'll start moving out. There's a spider nest nearby, we'll just take care of that when we come back. Uh, all right. Uh, while we're at it, how much should we gather again? It's in Australia. 20. Okay. We're gonna go up to 30. So uh, once we get 30 of them, we will start moving our guys. Uh, 27 can be the max get. Right. We'll wait two more turns. 27, we'll go for three more turns and then start going out. We have a lot of fishes in. Uh, not a good time to move out, actually. Not gonna lie. Okay, there are uh, animals coming in. There's gonna be a few turns where I'll just do nothing and just keep on doing the same thing. Because there's literally nothing to be done. The night of Kupala was once celebrated during midsummer when the sun shone brightest. The tradition continued even when the dark veil shielded the skies. But it was during those dark days that Kupala Night became a beacon of desperate hope and a night for calling upon the gods to return to fear. 
The seasons have changed after the darkness ravaged the world, but it is time for the first Kupala night since the sun's return. Alright. Prepare for the celebrations. The Kupala night was once celebrated only once per year, when the sun's power was closest to fear. But during the darkness, the special night was celebrated as soon as the mystical signs were read by the village elders. As to what those signs entail, every wise one seems to have a slightly different story. There are several ways in which the solstice can be celebrated. Uh, find the full story of Anne Kukla. During the long night of darkness, there was no way for the elders to tell when the solstice was coming, and within a few decades, the sacred night of Kupala was all but abandoned. But then, some old mystics read the solar signs. Brief moments where the power of sunlight, or the force of the moon and stars, shone through the dark veil with particular strength. Since then, Kupala night can be celebrated more than once in a year, but always when a great solar event is anticipated by the mystics. Okay, so what is night celebration in Telltale? Kupala night is a night of many guises. It is the night that celebrates the rival bond of the sun and the moon. It is the night that sings to the power of life-giving water and the thundering fires, both with their power to cleanse the earth. The night where life and death are revered, and where love and its promise for the future are held up and cherished. It is a night to honor all gods and to cast away the darkness. There are several ways to celebrate the Kupala night and to prove yourselves. Some may take more time, some may be risky, but doing nothing is not an option. Right, get the celebrations celebrated. The, the night of Kupala has many faces and traditions that need to be upheld. Bonfires are lit with sticks and stones and placed on hillsides or other high places around the settlement. Offerings of food and animal stock are made in honor of the many gods. Music, dance and laughter accompany the night's rituals. But the main event is chosen by the village elders with each solstice. There are several ways to celebrate the night and prove yourselves. Some may take more time, some may be risky, but doing nothing is not an option. All right. Now I can create a bonfire, burn herb and food offering in it and have people jump through the flames so they have they may be cleansed. But also prove the bravery could to the gods because that will kill my people. Make a wreath of flowers and hair and put a lit uh, candle with it and then send it down the river to find love and a new hope for tomorrow. That's most probably what I'll do. This night you choose to honor the old traditions by following the rite of love and fertility. Any unmarried lad or lass looking for love and its fruits makes a wreath of field flowers weaves their own hair into it, and then sends it down a river with a small lit candle attached on top. If the candle burns the wreath, or if it sinks in the river, its maker will not find love this year. But if it survives the flames and swims with the currents, it's a clear sign of love to come. If someone finds such a wreath down the river, fate dictates that they are the chosen lovers. Let the wreath show the future. Every hopeful singleton weaves their best wreath in hopes of attracting a soulmate. Some clever oh. conspirators hide downstream and accidentally yes. find the fated wreath. Some wreaths swim away with the currents, but bring joy and hope to the hearts of their makers. You feel that the grace of the master of the water, Mokosh, falls upon you and cleanses your bodies. Soon after the Kupala night, a stork visits the village and gifts a child to one happy couple. Let's go! It's a child! It was worth it! Everybody is getting a blessing of heal for a set number of turns. And some two of them got plus two HP. Great! This was the best! Let's go, baby! That is so worth it. How is our Siltane clicking? Uh, we'll soon start going out, I think. Yeah, I think so. We should start going out now. Not yet. That was so worth it. An unexpected visitor, Theodore, arrives at your village. Your food stocks have grown. Your people are learning how to live in the awakened fear once more. But the darkness is not gone. Always looming in the shadows, lurking behind corners. It is time to try and find clues as to what happened and how to repair it. Uh, okay, how do we do it? Ah, that's the spirit. I knew we could count on you. I must warn you, others have tried and failed before you, so the road will not be easy. This is the Cosmic Tree quest. Um, yeah, Theodore gives it every single time you play it. It's basically the main quest of this game. I know some, but I do not hold the answers you need to seek. I know that once fear was a land ruled by high magic. A land where demons were kept in check by the peoples. 
and by the cosmic balance upheld by the gods. The pillars of Thea stood sturdy and held our world together. Now the barriers between the lands of the living and those of the dead are torn asunder. And thus, darkness holds a tight grip on us. Without your aid, whatever made the sun return may not hold for long, and the Age of Darkness may descend upon us once again. All right, fine. So how do we do what we there do? Have been those how do we know what to do? To undo this curse, those who were charged with the guardianship of Thea's pillars and who have failed us. Some were the ancient peoples you call elves. Some were avatars of your gods, and some just people who proved worthy. And yet they all failed thus far. Here on this map, I marked a spot where one such guardian may hold answers for you. Without giving you a chance to say anything more, Theodore disappears, leaving you with a map. Oh, right, we'll take the map. That's the cosmic tree again. Pretty close by. We'll do that quest. We're just not ready for it yet. Are there something like that? Okay, good. We can start moving now. Okay. You come across a hidden stash, and it looks like whatever is inside may still be intact. You have your loot safe in hand, but you can hear something approaching fast. Perhaps a guardian of the stash. You have time to run, but maybe the creature hides more goodies. Nah, we're just gonna run. Uh, this is gonna be so tough. Oh boy. There is a there is a three star wolfie over there. I think. That's that's gonna be. Thank you for running away. I appreciate it. I don't appreciate that. I knew it. Oh god, people are in danger here. It's gonna be a that's gonna be a mess. Don't oh my god! So death can claim its prize. I lost three of our guys. One of them is still oh great, that's great. That is not good. Oh gosh. The only guy alive is in danger. Can't even do anything there. Who do I split him from? He's in danger. Oh god. The only guy alive is in danger and there's a horde coming. Oh, he's not more in danger. That's good. That's good. Why can't you run away? What's wrong? You're overcumbered, that's why. Ah, That is so bad for us. Oh god. We need to create a new expedition and send them there. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Here we go. We need to send a warrior. Are you... You're gathering. Let's send you here. Okay, that should be enough, I think so, for us to get going. Oh, the food, right. You guys need food as well. All right. All right, let's, let's send the food as well. Right. Right, you guys can get food from here. Let's give you guys some wood, like, about that much should be fine. Hopefully, I guess it, our guy stays alive till then. That should work out. Okay. Okay, boys. While you're at it, also take care of this spider nest. That should be a first. Uh, it's just a one star. Somebody got injured. Great. Let's just go gather some stuff. Why not? Don't die. Okay. We get a medic. Uh, as much as I wanted right now. I'm just gonna go medic. It's kind of sad, not gonna lie. We need more gatherers. That's the issue. Okay, good. Keep going down. At least they are not. A oh no! Retreat. Oh, they're gonna attack us, aren't they? We are in a bad situation here. Please run away and don't attack us. 
Thank you for not attacking us. I really appreciate you guys not attacking us. Uh, a one star should not be an issue for us. That's a two star goblin village now. Might be able to take you it now. A hidden stash, and it looks like whatever we it take the stuff. Loot, no, we don't want to. We just want to. We want to merge you guys. Can I like merge you guys? Can I just merge you guys? Group, group. Silk tunic group with expedition group. Can I just merge you guys? Seriously. Okay. Uh, you go there. Good. Everything else also go there. Jesus. Get that stuff there. Silk tunic important. Get it there. Get that there. Get this there. Uh, which is good sword. We can leave some sword. We can dismantle this here. We don't need it. Let's move this here. Freaking hell, we lost in Hunter. That's so bad for us. Dark Pendant will take that. That shield is good, actually. We'll take it. That's good. We'll take it. Six armor is always good to have. We're going over a limit, so we might have to like drop a few things here. Uh, yeah, that's a good quality X. That's that's gonna be so good for us for just in general. That's a good quality bone crusher. I I don't want to keep that with me. That's bad. Get some resources from it. Uh, what's that? Shot star, piercing damage. Can't get ember from it. We'll just dismantle it. Should have keeping it. Armored arm, not so great, honestly. Sharp stone, it's free. Wards for us. Yeah, we already have that as well, so we'll just take it. We didn't get the quartz, sadly. Mm, bad quality. It's just bad quality. We can take quartz. Yeah, just take that as well. And we'll dismantle that as well. Push the quartz there. We are encumbered. Uh, is there anything that's, uh, that we don't need right now? Uh, no, no, no. We want to see equipment right now for us. There we go. Oh, uh, can he get... That's bad. We just dismantle that. Where is it? This. We need to dismantle it. It's really bad, honestly. Yeah, let's just dismantle it. There we go. Equipment. We'll give this to you for the time being. Bone Crusher. It is... No, you have a shield, though. Poison, keep that. That's just better. Bone Crusher is a bad weapon, then. Let's just get that rid of that. That's gonna free up some space as well. Taking this down a bit. Is that good? That's not good, actually. That's just piercing damage. You don't also uh, you don't have anything good either. Give you that armor. Give you this armor. Oh, can any of you guys wear that armor? You can. You wear it. Paint and folklore. Why not? You wear it. And this shield is the only thing that permits, but that shield is really good. Is it really good? I'm just gonna dismantle it. We can make better shields later. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit of a while, but it'll be worth it. It's another turn. Ooh, we are a bit encumbered, but it's fine. Boy, oh boy. Here we mess up with our expedition. I should be careful. I should definitely be careful. Ah. Uh, I would have taken it. Oh no. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's a one star. We can take care of that. Great. Great. Oh. We won that. Without losing much. It's good. We keep on moving actually. Uh, what are you out of production I guess? Yeah, you out of meat. Well, you'll get meat soon. No issues. We'll keep moving. 
time for the Night of the Goat, a feast in honor and reverence oh. of the ancestors and forefathers, the so-called Ziadi. You set a table with food and drink, set bonfires in a circle, and begin festivities. But this night, the Ziadi actually appear before you. One, an elder bearded man, speaks with a heavy, coarse voice. You have done us proud, grandchildren. Now we shall cleanse you of any curses you carry. And if your souls are ever burdened by the filth of dark magic, come to a city we once called home and seek us out. And if you prove yourselves worthy, you may be cleansed once more. Ziadi all nod in agreement, then disappear. All right. Nice. Oh, we almost there. Jesus. So this is gonna be our expedition squad now. It's gonna be kind of sad. All right, here we go. Get that dark wood out. Get that quartz in the village. Get that in the village. Get that in the village. That too. Oh my God! There's so much stuff that we can. Get into the village keep like 15 fishes there we go that is fine herbs in the village we'll keep some herbs not a lot we'll keep like 10 herbs with us uh yeah get that in the village that too this as well this as well spider souls can finally go into the village I don't know where did I get these things from? No idea, dude. Oh, this is better. Equipment. Where's the expedition spot? This spear is better for you. There we go. Inventory. Let's get that spear in the village. Anything else? I think we're good. Which also means we can construct the pasture, maybe? Uh, not really. But we do need more buildings, honestly, and I think it's a good time to construct something. Because we have been holding back on construction, it's just of no use of holding back on construction, honestly. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we are just going to... Oh, wow. Yeah. We'll just heal him and do that. Oh, uh, we're gonna take the medic with us actually we will take the medic with us there we go we'll take the medic with us and that's gonna be where we're gonna leave them so actually uh, can't save because it all saves obviously anyways hopefully we don't kill our villagers <laughs> but until next time peace out boys